Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's video is a chemistry video on mole-mole relationships. Mole-mole relationships. First thing when you're doing a problem with mole-mole relationships is you need to have an equation and you need to make sure that it's balanced. Uh, let's see, here's our equation for today, three carbon dioxides and four waters. All right, and is it balanced? I have three carbon, three carbon, eight hydrogen, eight hydrogen, 10 oxygen, 6 and 4 is 10 oxygens. So my equation is balanced and I'm good to go. The question is how many moles of oxygen, how many moles of oxygen, so I'm going to put an X mole underneath the oxygen, that's going to help clarify my thinking, are needed to completely react with 2.25 moles of C3H8. Okay, that's easy problem I hope. Start with what you know. The first thing you write is what you know. I have 2.25 moles C3H8. If you don't like to write the units out, get, get over it. You need to write the units out. That's the key to chemistry. When I do these kinds of problems, I always multiply by something, some fraction that's equal to 1. I don't know what. I'm going to figure it out. I want to get rid of moles of C3H8. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for moles of oxygen. Now, in this case, I'm going to use my recipe. Anytime you have moles over moles, you always use the equation. Moles over moles, you always use the equation. If it was grams, you'd use the periodic table. If it was liters, you'd use 22.4, but it's moles over moles, so I'm going to use my equation. What number is by the oxygen? It's a 5. What number is by the C3H8? It's a 1. It's invisible. There's really a 1 there. So all I do is multiply it out because I can cancel that. 2.25 times 5, 2.25 times 5 gives me 11.25 moles of oxygen. With these types of problems, it doesn't matter whether you're talking about things on the same side of the reaction or not. Let me give you an example. Um, how many moles of C3H8, so X moles, we don't know how many of these we need, are required to produce 1.5 moles of water. Notice they're on different sides of the equation. You do the problem exactly the same way. 1.50 moles of water times something. We want to get rid of moles of water. We want to be left with moles of C3H8. What number is my coefficient? Because moles over moles, you go back to the equation. This stuff doesn't matter. The only thing that counts is that equation. There's a 1 here and a 4 here. There's an invisible 1 there. We don't write it, but it's there. Now we've gotten rid of moles of water. 1.5 divided by 4 gives us 0 0.375 moles of C3H8. You always have to go back and ask yourself, did this answer the question? Yes. And do I have the right number of significant figures? Yes, I do. Thank you for watching Marker Board videos and have a good day.